Okay, so there's a lot of misinformation when it comes to equine dentistry. Um, there's still a lot of places that are teaching that we shouldn't do work on the occlusal surfaces, which is the chewing parts of it. That's actually the most important place to work. Anybody that says that you shouldn't work on the occlusal surfaces doesn't understand equine dentistry. They understand small animal and human dentistry, which are totally different. Horses have what we call hypsodont teeth. Hypsodont teeth are limited. They have a big reserve crown, so they're like the lead in a mechanical pencil. They only have a certain amount, and so they wear it down a little bit every year, and then the tooth erupts, and then they wear it down, and then the tooth erupts, but when it's gone, it's gone. And what happens is they wear unevenly in very many cases. And so if we balance that wear, we can make the teeth last a lot longer and be more comfortable. And so that's critical. And the other thing is accountability is very important. There's a lot of people that have a lot of opinions, but they don't show what they do. So one of the things that we try to do here is, is to show you exactly what we do. So um, in order for the industry to get better, there's gonna have to be horse owners demanding accountability from the people that are working in their mouth and what I encourage everybody to do is learn just enough about dentistry just a little bit that you can evaluate the type of work that's being done in the mouth so let me show you here this is a horse I've been doing for several years and I'll show you how the teeth are perfectly even perfectly uniform perfectly balanced and the work is actually very minimally invasive because it only takes a few minutes to maintain that once it's established. So let's look in the mouth. So here we can see how the teeth are perfectly balanced and they're gonna be wearing very uniformly for a really long time. So this is what you want a horse's mouth to look like. Now obviously, if you don't start doing teeth until they're older, you may not be able to get a mouth to look this good, but if the horse is done repeatedly, this is what it should like. We can see how all the teeth are the same height. There's no sharp points, uh, and yet they're very, very balanced. So this is the ultimate goal of equine dentistry is these teeth will last almost forever at this rate. So anybody that's not adjusting their occlusal surfaces should probably stop working on horse teeth and go into human dentistry or small animal dentistry. And the other thing with dentistry is it's an art and a science equine dentistry, and so People need to work with other practitioners, just like, uh, you know, if you're on a sports team, uh, if you're playing basketball, if you're alone playing basketball and you're never practicing around other people, you might think you're, you're the best, but you really are not growing. And so here we're interacting, we constantly have people that come there from all over the world and have different eyes, different techniques, different ideas, and the checks and balances really help you grow in your practice. So. Practicing in isolation is really bad. We've got another horse here. This is the next one in line that's 23, and we'll show you how good a horse's mouth can look at 23 years old. Okay, so this is a 23-year-old, and it's been over a year since she was done, but you can see how we have a really nice, nice mouth, nice balanced teeth, and so she's gonna be comfortable for, again, a really long time. There's a lot of years left on those those teeth, so occlusal equilibration is paramount to horses having a good, strong uh, dental arcade. Mm -hmm.